with Shannon. So I did one, two, three videos he did it. He did it. on uh, you know the basics of THM and you know some beginner ingredients and some special ingredients. All that took like you know I started exploring THM in December, so that took all the way to what month is it now? It's like September now. So I really started with collagen. I started using egg whites more, um, switched to sprouted bread, and just slowly changed everything over and started trying different meals from the cookbook. So um, I wanted to do a video on tips on how to start THM. So the first step is obviously you need to read the book. And you know, the book is very important. If you go to the library and check it out. Go find, see if you can find it in a thrift store. I keep hunting my thrift stores for it because I do not have the plan book. I have the original range of big book and ebook form, and uh, I have table and I have cookbook and e form. But I would love those in person, you know, physically touch them. But I don't have those, and I probably owe a lot to the library right now, so I can't check them out from the library anymore at the moment. So get them from the library hoopla which if your library is involved with that you can get the audiobook from hoopla uh there's also potties if you ha didn't know about that uh go to the trim healthy mama website and uh you should be able to find a link that the you can find the potties at so you can get the potties and list them uh and I think I'll post another video later about which potties are really good for beginners. I really don't think the tr Trim Healthy Mama Fuel Cycle one's good for beginners because I think it's been confusing to a whole lot of people on the Facebook groups. Mosquitoes are so bad here that my son, who is a mosquito magnet, has like three big welts now. This is why we haven't been out since half the summer. So, uh, I also, at this time, while reading the book, I was taking notes in my bullet journals, so this is my second bullet journal, but I did try to start making more notes on what Trim Healthy Mama is about, so I'd have it with me. That's what, what that is, but my other, my first bullet journal when I first started exploring Trim Healthy Mama it was much thicker than that. Um, so search YouTube, search Instagram, search the groups, I think the groups are so great when you're exploring this new way of eating. It is a little hard at first, but not really. Just don't eat carbs with fats. Uh, second thing you do, once you have that book, you're gonna want to replace your sugar with a non-glycemic sweetener. So that means you're going to go to Walmart and you're just gonna get pure. You're gonna get Truvia or Splenda Naturals in the tub. Uh, don't get stevia in the raw. You may get packets at all these that are uh, pure stevia. I also like the uh, stevia in the bottles. Uh, really great for my sweet tea I make every day. I haven't drank it yet. This is why I'm so tired. Probably, maybe. I don't know. I'm reaching. Um, it's really great in my sweet tea. And plus, I'm like, I need to put it in my purse for when I have coffee on the go. Because, you know, when it's cold coffee, it, it, the, the packets don't mix in very well. But the Aldi's stevia in the big bag is not from Healthy Mama. So, now in the first book, they did say Splenda was okay uh, if you have to. Uh, I still bake with it. Uh, it's too expensive, and I am on a budget, and I go over my budget all the time already. I can't afford it. Splenda, I can afford in that big baking blends. Number three. Start with one meal. Look at your meals. When I started reading True Healthy Mama books, I was like, okay. I was already putting, well, I was putting sugar, obviously, on my oatmeal, brown sugar. So I looked at my oatmeal. I'm like, well, I was putting an egg in it to increase the nutrition for my my very, very picky son. So I switched to egg whites. Although I was nursing, so that crossover was fine, other than the sugar. Honestly, other than the sugar, the brown sugar, that was a perfectly good crossover meal because crossovers are on plan. That comes back later. So I started just trying recipes from the cookbook. I had table. I got that like November. I think it was like a Black Friday sale. Um, 
so I got table, started trying re different recipes while I was following Weight Watchers, chicken fried double rice, gumbo, you know, uh, then I think I somehow got the cookbooks. So start, I mean, I haven't really used a lot of the cookbook stuff because it's an e-form and I really just want to touch it, but, you know, the frappas, you know, throwing something, this, that, that in, switching my things around, obviously replacing the sugar. Um, and just like by accident, after the holidays, after uh, Christmas, I like binged way too much bacon. And uh, so what's really big after a holiday like that, it's the, the mini fuel cycle, which I can do a video on that later too. The mini fuel cycle. So I did that the day after Christmas and I lost like that first week of doing that mini fuel cycle. And, uh, and I just realized that I had planned all my meals from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. And I was doing a pure Trim Healthy Mama menu by accident. So by the end of the week, I'd lost 10 pounds and I was completely Trim Healthy Mama. So it was crazy. So just start with one meal, increase it to two, what three, whatever. Start eating that every two to three hours. Uh, I mean, I switched from White Watchers to Trim Healthy Mama, so that probably helped too. I did not have any like Trim Healthy Mama detox. I, whatever. But some people talk about it. Four, one thing you really need is grace. You will make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I, I think, like, like maybe I was making mistakes, which is why I've stalled out so bad, is I was abusing fats or um, not having enough ease. You know, give yourself grace. This is a different way of eating than the uh, standard American diet. And it's worth it. You will feel better if you do it right. Just give yourself grace. It's okay if you cross over. You know what? The other day, last night, I purposely ate a crossover, and I'm okay with that. And it was a Frankenfood, too. Five. I think the biggest thing that has helped me in this weight loss journey is having partners and accountability buddies and groups. So I use YouTube, obviously, as my accountability, too, like my weekly little, kind of like a Weight Watchers meeting, but it's not Weight Watchers now. Uh, then uh, I ha I'm still part of Weight Watchers group on a mommy board because uh, they Weight Watchers recipes are sometimes decently good emails. So it's good to have that accountability. Like I had some really good weigh-ins this week, and I post there on the on that accountability group, and everyone's like saying, "Yay, go you go!" So partner up, find a buddy. Especially if you can find a buddy that's been doing this a couple more months than you or starting with you Maybe they can help you when you're confused or maybe you can help each other like hey Have you tried this? Let's try this whatever. Oh now he has lots of wills Then six I think the most important thing no matter what way of eating you're following you need to make a list of why you are doing this. You need to include some non-scale victories, some scale victories. Uh, you know, why are you doing this? And that's a list you need to keep at hand and read every day. Every day to keep you inspired. So make some of them short-term goals and put some of them as long-term goals. Like my list of whys are, I want to have a better future pregnancy then I want to get stronger. I broke my ankle last year and I could not stand up. I would have to like get a chair beside me, scoot my legs into it like on my knees, flip up and then get on my scooter. I could not use crutches. So getting stronger is very important for me. I want to get smaller obviously. Uh, heartburn. I have had, my babies have ruined my esophagus so bad on heartburn. Um, and then like, just getting into some of my stuff I hadn't worn in 10 years. Like, it's amazing. I've had two babies and I fit some this close better than I did when I bought it at 20. Um, you know, make this list of options and read it every day. It will help you. Um, it, especially if you feel tempted. And, you know, it's, it's not worth it sometimes. 
to go off plan and get back on it. <laughs> it. Then you need to read that list and maybe that'll motivate you to make the better choice instead of eating your son's leftover uh, cupcake. Maybe you'll make the better choice of making a fried taco chocolate chip taco from Brianna's uh, website. It's amazing. I think it's worth, it, it, it's much better than like, you know, any random cupcake that is half eaten from a toddler. Crossovers, seven. Crossovers are on plan. Like I said last night, I had a crossover and I was still Trim Healthy Mama. I, uh, I had an, a uh, Halo top with a BAM uh, cake and that's okay and I'm fine with that because crossovers are on plan. Sometimes you need crossovers. Uh, if I don't have a good way in Monday, I'm probably going to investigate having more ease or crossovers next week. Because sometimes you need a crossover to lose weight. Uh, when you get closer to goal weight, you need more crossovers. When you're pregnant or nursing, you need more crossovers. And, you know, it's okay. It's not all about just eating pure fuel pools. You are eating on Trim Healthy Mama. And you need to eat. Uh, da, da, da. Eight. Make a list that you can keep in your purse of drive through Sioux options you can do when you are out and about. I don't have it in this book, I don't think. Um, but it's in my traveler's notebook that's my like wallet pretty much, or it used to be. I had one for Weight Watchers, so I definitely think anyone should make a list of things like that on Trim Healthy Mama. Like some of the things I eat when I'm out and about and I'm hungry grocery shopping is, um, it might be a small crossover, but it's like the sushi from Kroger with the brown rice. Oh well. Then uh, the Proscudo cheese wraps. That's another great option. Then, uh, you know, flat white brevet, but that should be occasionally used because that is a crossover. You know, skinny pop with uh, cantaloupe and um, lean meat. You know, whatever. Just make a list that you would like to eat when you're on about. Like the other day, I stopped at a gas station. I got beef jerky after my hike to uh, fuel my body before we ate dinner. Time meals. I think I mentioned that earlier. I didn't realize that was on this list. I had wrote two weeks ago. Time your meals because that's how you're going to get some of these accidental crossovers if you're not eating far enough apart. When you're nursing, you can eat 2 to point, 2.5 ish, 3 hours. But you know, if you're just normal in normal season of life, 3 to 4 hours. So when I was first started, I did 2.5. Ish, so when I was bouncing at four pounds, how did I fix that? I timed my meals better and started doing three to four hours, and boom, weight loss. Uh, so, one of the things when I did when I was in that stall is timing my meals, making sure they are apart. Uh, although I was mostly eating essence all day long, so really there's nothing extra there other than the breakfast to the S lunch. But timing your meals will avoid an excellent crossover. Uh, it will mean your body is burnt off your breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, before you add more fuel on it. So fuel stacking can be an issue when people are doing it. I've seen people will get their phone and make timer for it. So that's an option, and that's okay. And you know what? Sometimes I'll be like sitting there going, I gotta do meal math. Um, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. Well, I'm so confused and my husband will argue because he's like, no, you're wrong. <laughs> so sometimes the timers just make it easier. My son is pushing everything off this podium. But that's my top nine tips on how to start Trim Healthy Mama. Um, just read and just absorb all this information. Take notes. Like, I have this list of notes from the weight loss uh, on Adam admins on weight loss. Um... So I make notes all the time over what things that people have done that are successful. So that to me is part of one. Read the book, learn the plan, absorb it all. Uh, I listened to the potties and some of the potties on repeat for a month before starting from Healthy Mama officially. They were so inspiring for me. Plus I'd be up to like one pumping so it was fun. It was like really nice like pumping with sisters. <laughs> so. Good luck on Trim Healthy Mama. Do you have any tips for people that are new Trim Healthy Mama? Put them down below. Don't forget to like, share this with your friends that need help. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.